Alrighty, all you beautiful hunters. Going after another blood gem. This one's going to be fun because I've never went after this type of blood gem. Tonight, we're going after a pulsing circle, which will give us HP regen on our firearm. So we won't have to worry about using a slot off of our main weapon to get a little bit of HP regen that's passive that we don't really have to worry about. So here we're going to be going into the Chalice 9F VUY2US. It is a Cursed Thumaru Heal Chalice with the Fetid, Rotted, and Cursed on it. Oh lord, this is going to be fun. But there are two upright right keepers in the level 1 main area that should drop these. So we're going to go ahead and hop in here and get these. Now, hopefully if we're able to actually get in here and not die instantaneously should be able to get us a pretty good HP regen gem and then you know, we already have our 31.5 blood tinge and we're not really after damage on our weapon so let's see if we can well, you know get it useful otherwise Oh, and it has been forever since I've went through a curted, a fetid, rotted, and cursed labyrinth. So this ought to be fun. Um, the last one I saw like this is the C U M M M F P K Dallas, which you use to farm, um, yeah, farm blood echoes from the NPC that dies off screen. Alright, let's see here. Why did I come in here with 3 million blood echoes? There's supposed to be two upright right keepers in this main area. Yep, they're back there. Sweet. Alright. We're just gonna go through... Through here one quick time with you. And like we did with the last one, wow, that's, that's, um, oh, this is going to suck. But we're going to go through, kill everything, see what they drop initially before we, uh, we go into the whole bit of, um, oh, God. Oh, Lord. Ooh, okay, that's a lot of damage right off the bat. Okay, okay. We're okay. We're okay. That was a lot of damage right off the bat. Wow, a cursed fire damp blood gem? That's actually... Not a bad one. That's a pretty good gem right there. Well, it's not what we're after. We're after the gem off of Big Boy up there, and I have no idea what the curse is here. But it looks like something with attack speed. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's something with attack speed. I'm trying to... I've never fought right keepers. I want to see kind of what their attacks are before we just go in half cocked. Hey, they don't seem all that bad, honestly. Okay. Okay, yeah, not that bad. It's the foot soldiers that are absolutely horrid. I got my lot of cocktails. Ooh, okay. Fireball attack really hurts. Alright, watch out for Sickle Boy. This is not gonna be a fast farm. This 
this is gonna take a while. First tempering damp, that's nice. A blood vial. Let's see what that cursed tempering was. Uh, physical attack 20, add physical 7, weapon durability down 60. Not all that bad of a blood gem, actually. Alrighty, what do we got? Oh, wow. Cursed, pulsing, damn blood gem. Five. You've got to be joking. Is this really what I was after this this video already? It is. There you go. HP continues to recover plus five with an uh, attack down minus 7.9. I believe these gems are always going to come with an attack down. But there you go. That's, uh... Wow, that... That took six minutes. That that's impressive. Normally these farms take, you know, hours, if not a few more hours than hours. But let's uh I'm back, throw this on our gun, and I guess we'll see you on the next one to go after some really good gems for our saw cleaver, saw spear, and beast claw and pretty much any of your main hand weapons that you use a lot. Uh, these will not be for stuff like Lowig's Holy Blade, but you can use them elsewhere. So this is gonna give us, yeah. And we don't really care about our attack down on a gun. This is just HP continues to recover constantly. So let's see if we can take a little bit of damage here real quick. So we take damage, and it just sits there and heals us. It's not an amazing amount of regen, but you think, you know, you take a good bit of damage from a fight and you're just running around a dungeon, you know, swiping up loot. Now you're at full health again without using a blood vial. Me personally, I will probably actually keep it on... I may not keep it on the Hunter pistol, but I may throw it over on Evelyn or on my Blunderbuss. But there you go. I, I don't know what to say. That, that took six minutes from the second I started talking to we have our gym now. That's really impressive for most, or actually any farms for any games. But guys, remember, hit that subscribe button, hit click the notification bell, and leave a thumbs up if you like the video. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Later.